So, hi again, here is Christian Ferreira and now I'm going to explain you the MB Velocity tool. The tool to correct sound velocity inside MB system. It's an interactive tool as you, you will see soon. And the things I, I have to do now is that I don't have a SVP file because during the acquisition for, the, for those uh, files we have here in, the, in our sample data set, I already applied a SVP right at the beginning of the survey, so before we started. So, and the SVP was, uh, well, was good, so the data does not have any major problems, and actually to see the effects of sound velocity or how the tool works, we have to basically, you know, mess a lot with the data set. So, what I'm gonna do first is that I'm gonna dump the SVP inside one of my um, MB59 files. So with that I use, for that I use MB SVP list minus F59, which is my format. And then I select one file, you can select any one from this data set, and then I put the design to direct the, the output from this command to a file called mysvp.svp. So I, I did that and now I'm gonna open uh, the MB Velocity tool. So that's the tool. We have here three displays, the uh, water sound velocity profile, so when I load several sound velocity profiles I will see them here. These are the residuals so that we can understand the effects of the sound velocity and uh, how they change our, our, uh, our profile, even if you have rough topography. It's, and then here we have the ray paths. So what I'm going to do right now is that I, I'm going to load one sound velocity, uh, one, sorry, uh, one multi-beam file, so I'll get the uh, zero, zero, zero. And here we have our um, our profile. The problems with the data set uh, that we have here, are, well, they, they are not problems, it's just that the, these files are all with this so sort of mountain on the on the south e east. So, and this actually creates a bit, a, a bit of a problem because on, on the MB velocity tool you actually need a file over a flat surface that you can very clearly understand the effects of the data. So, and here we don't have such a thing. So, but anyway, we can still uh, play a little bit so that you all understand the effect, the effect of how or in how this tool works. Is that first of all, when I load a file, I have here my standard constant uh, sound speed and I have this red line. The red line is this file has a, a coordinate, so start and, and end position for instance, and the tool is getting uh, these positions and, and getting the nearest uh, SVP from the MB Levitos database that is available, and this is a, a annual sound velocity uh, for this area. So in some cases, uh, when you have no SVP or the SVP is terribly wrong, this uh, this uh, profile from MB Levitos can be quite useful. And there are some rare occasions, but it can happen that uh, you take SVP, the conditions from the environment are changing very uh, rapidly, and you apply this uh, on your <laughs> on your acquisition software. And the data is just bad. And then you go with this tool and you check the MB Levitos and the annual um, SVP is better than the one you just took. So it doesn't happen uh, very often, but I have seen it myself. And and this tool can be quite useful with this uh, annual SVP. So what we can do here, and I will just do it uh, for the for demonstrations that I'm gonna make this SVP so these lines I'm gonna shift them to a extremely wrong value for the SVP so around uh, 1400 before it was uh, at 1500 and I will say uh, uh, press reprocess when I do this I apply this SVP the, the black line 
to my file and then let's see what happens so here you can see now that the surface here is kind of curve bended because I actually apply a, a SVP that is damn wrong so it's very very wrong and if I put let's say let's make it even worse just for demonstration and I apply reprocess and you see I'm curving my surface even more because and my residuals completely gone crazy because the because this SVP that I have here the the red the, the black line is totally wrong so what you can do with this tool is that uh, for example I have this uh, annual profile and I can for example load several display profiles so I go here and I open my SVP in this case I just have one and my SVP done with a sound velocity profiler is actually very close to the annual one so we can just basically drag these points closer here because I will soon uh, zoom in in this area and then now let's apply reprocess okay it's just very rough but let's go and now I'm gonna change here in the plotting plot scale so I'll make here the maximum depth I can leave like this and the range let's make the range you know smaller so that we see clearly the variations and the difference between the real SVP and the annual SVP and here we uh, shift the velocity center a bit to the oops a bit to the right so now it's on my, my both SVPs are inside this window and I could also put the maximum depth to 12,000 meters so that I can uh, you know just drag this point and you know put it perhaps where it should be so but for this I have to increase the range again so that I just drag this last point and I put it where it sh more or less should be okay so let's go back to our range and let's focus on the surface so okay okay so what the tool is applying at the moment is the the is this black line with with this very rough SVP profile so I already did uh, reprocess so this SVP is already applied and now if I if I wanna use use the, all the power from this tool I can actually drag the points and then and a very uh, nice thing is that I can put a lot of a lot more points so I can just press the middle mouse button and I can basically follow the SVPs I have well in some cases for example this point is now a sort of outlier so I have to drag it here and if I would like to delete this point I just press the right mouse button if I would like to delete points like I'm doing right now so what I'm doing is just a rough SVP, but this rough is going to be good because I'm following the annual profile and the real profile. And when I apply now reprocess, I'm applying this SVP. So what you see here in the ray path is that the surface is almost perfectly flat. So and the the cool thing is that with this tool you can actually load several SVPs and I have seen that uh, when you survey the same area for for a longer time let's say for one week two weeks you have a lot of variation and and with this tool you can actually load all your SVPs and you can go let's say uh, survey by survey or group or smaller groups of files and you can actually model based on real data uh, a SVP that actually fix the, your SVP problem so it, it's not a tool that you that you can uh, just fake your SVPs it's a tool where you can actually load several SVPs and in interactively uh, see the effect of 
one SVP of another SVP, or you can actually blend them and, and create an artificial SVP that actually is real or could be real and actually fix your problem. So I cannot Im imagine a better scenario for SVP correction. So, and what I have here now, and if I'm happy with that, I can just basically save as uh, editable profile. So I would say this is my SVP2. Okay, so now it's saved. And what I can actually do is that uh, I could open the, the green line as an editable profile. So if I would like to have a very fine um, SVP profile, with, uh, in this case this file has like 500 points, and if I would like to, you know, adjust things very in, in a small scale, I can do that. So I can just open this and I open my SVP. Oops. No, uh, open as visible profile. Oh, damn, I just uh, saved on top of the, of the other files. No. Did I? Let's have a look. Let's have a look here. So if I open my file, oh, my SVP is here. So yeah, it's the file with 500 lines. So 509, if you want to be exact. And let's cancel this. So I will quit the tool and I will start it again. So this is the query from Levitus that I mentioned. And now let's open it again. I will load my swap file, 000. And I will load uh, open editable profile and I open this profile with this 500 points. And here it is. So and now I can drag each of these 500 points and uh, you see that uh, when I apply now the SVP, since the SVP is very complex and because it has so many hundreds of points I actually have uh, you know I, it takes a longer time okay so that's it and let's go to the next tool